Hey everybody, it's your boy DJ Sentient Natural Tan Ruhide. So up to this point in these videos, I've really only shown a couple of types of whips, some bull whips and stock whips, and I wanted to break that up a little bit. So this time we're gonna be taking a look at a four foot signal whip. Hope you enjoy. For this whip, the first thing I have to do is cut out the form of the shot bag. This will be a four foot whip, and I want the tip of the shot bag to end around the three foot mark. Much like the core of a bull whip, this piece is essentially a long triangle, but with a slight contour. Then it gets dressed with rubber cement and folded into a cone. The cone is then filled with fine lead shot and sealed off with a leather plug. Something I didn't anticipate is this little dimple in my shot bag. And since a lot of this work is just problem solving, I decided to get creative with this small bolster. The dimple is filled without disrupting the contour in that spot. Now I can start straining out the overlay, which will be 16 plat in white, purple, and red. The off colors like the white and purple sometimes shed flakes of the top coat if they're prepped while wet, so I stretch all of these laces dry. Something I do to ensure uniform strand sizing is to use my caliper to mark the leather before passing it through the bayless gauge. I also like to angle my knife to bevel off that side of the strand. Each strand is then tapered and beveled the rest of the way, and the red leather is also split down to more closely match the thickness of the off colors. The shape and dimensions of a signal whip were originally informed by their use in competitive dog sled racing, where they had strict limits placed on the length of the whip. That's why there's no fall, and the cracker is braided in, and some even have wrist loops that point toward the grip instead of hanging off the end. But because there are people who like to hang the whip for storage, the wrist loop on this whip will be attached in a more recognizable way. Despite a couple hiccups in the braiding, I'm seriously pleased with this whip. It moves very freely and cracks super smooth. The weighting is a little on the heavy side, but the action is very clean. Of course, I just love using whips. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the project. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section, or you can also drop suggestions for whips you'd like to see me make. Stay safe, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.